When you're working with JSON, you likely see JSON objects in a .json file, but they can also exist as a JSON object or string within the context of a program. Here we see an example of a JSON object and also an example of a JSON string. When working with a JSON file, it will look something like this. So in this JSON file, we have roughly a hundred records of different contacts or employees that we can work with. When working with a JSON object, you'll likely see it set to a variable as it is here. And in order to work with JSON, we have to convert it to an object within the JavaScript context. JSON data is normally accessed using dot notation. And let's look at a quick example of how we'll access our JSON object. We would usually call the name of our object and use the dot notation. So let us access first name and last name. And let us actually console log this. Oh. All right. And let's do the same thing here. All right, so when we save this and we access our file and look at our console, we can see here that we get the first name and the last name for Sami. After we're finished working with our Sami object, then we can convert it to a string. So we would use the, let me create a new variable and call it Sammy string object and set it equal to json dot stringify and we just pass in our object so if we console log our Sammy string object we'll see here that we get the entire object as a string. And to prove this, we can use the type of syntax, and that will tell us what type it is, okay? So now we have a string to work with. So as I said, strings are useful for transporting data back and forth but you'll want to be able to convert them back to a JSON object on the client or the server side. And we can convert this text um, back to an object using the JSON parse function. So let us look at how we can convert our JSON object here, our JSON string of employees. So let me comment this section out. And I am going to create a new object so I'm going to just declare a variable I call it JSON object and set it equal to JSON dot parse and we're just going to pass in our JSON okay so before before the parse, if we console logged, if we console log it now, let's do a type off and pass in our JSON object. And if we save this and refresh, right, so now we see that we have converted our string 
to an object. At this point, we're now able to work with this JSON string as a JSON object. So what I'll do, I'll create a paragraph and give it an ID of demo. And I'm going to append this employee information to our paragraph. So now that it has been converted to an object, I am going to get my element, get element by ID, and I'm going to set the inner HTML equal to And let's say JSON object dot and I am going to reference this identifier of employees. So we want to get employees and we want the first employee or the second employee. So as we know indexes start at zero so we want the employee at index one and we want their first name and we are going to concat let's just ensure we're doing this correctly so we want to concat a space and we want to also get their last name so json object dot employees and I spelled that incorrectly didn't I so this has to be two E's it has to match up with that and index one dot last name and that should set our paragraph to our first to our employee at index one. So let us save this and refresh. And we are getting undefined. So let us check and see why that is. Okay, so we're getting undefined. We are parsing our JSON here. All right, let's, let's set this. Let's put this all on one line and see. Let's save this now. Okay, still undefined. I am starting to wonder if this isn't a keyword. All right, let me change this from JSON object to simply OBJ. Object. Right. All right, that didn't work. Okay, I think I'm seeing the error now. So let's undo what we did before. Set that back to JSON object. So everything has to be the same as what is actually in my string. So I'm not sure where this, how we got this first name, but it should be first name right so i was using the code completion to help me and it gave me the wrong thing so it should be first name last name with camel case so let's try this json object is not defined right so let's change this back to All right, so now we should get our employee at position one. Right, so let's look at one other example. And I'm going to copy some information in here for a JSON object. So this is our JSON object, and let me format this a little bit better. All 
Right, so here we have a nested JSON object, right? So we have a username and we have their social media that is also have has nested values inside of it. So let's just say we wanted to access Facebook's key value and we wanted to just simply alert that value. So let me do an alert and we are going to say user profile dot social media and we want the element at position one which would be Facebook and we want the description so let's save this and do a refresh and of course we get Facebook and if we wanted any other element if we wanted the link then simply all we have to do is type that in and then it will obviously alert that link so that is just an idea of how we would access any nested elements in a JSON object